डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्वालिटरल पार्ट सिक्स चैप्टर एट ऑफ क्लास नाइन मैथमेटिक्स बुक डिस्कशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स अर्लियर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पार्लोलोग्राम रोम्बस रेक्टांगल स्क्वायर एट्सेट्रा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए थियोरम इन हुईज we apply the properties of rectangle uh, properties of parallelogram and this theorem is popularly known as midpoint theorem let's see what does this midpoint theorem states the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side so let's visualize this by this figure here abc is a triangle and x and y are the midpoints of the sides ab and ac respectively so what to prove here here we join the points xy so to prove that xy is parallel to bc so how to prove this to prove this we need some construction so what is the construction here you see draw a line through c and which is parallel to ab and let that meet the extended xy at d now let's prove it ab is parallel to cd and ac is the transversal in such case we have two angles bac and acd which are alternate interior angles so they are equal now you see in triangle axy and in triangle ycd what are equal we know that angle xay is equal to angle ycd why because we have proved that bac is equal to acd now a y x and c y d these two angles are vertically opposite angles so they are equal and we have a y equal to c y as y is the midpoint of ac so here we proved that triangle axy is congruent to triangle cdy now what is the cause of this congruency this is by angle side angle property and from this we get ax is equal to cd we know that ax is equal to bx why because x is midpoint of ab so we proved ax equal to cd and we know that ax is equal to bx so bx is equal to cd now in quadrilateral bcdx you see bx is parallel to cd and bx is equal to cd we know that if in a quadrilateral the opposite side are parallel and equal then that quadrilateral is a parallelogram so from this we get that bcdx is a parallelogram if bcdx is a parallelogram then other pair of opposite sides are also parallel means xd is parallel to bc from this as xy is part of xd so we can write xy is parallel to bc so here we used the property of parallelogram that is opposite sides uh, of a quadrilateral are equal and parallel then the quadrilateral is parallelogram then what is the converse of this midpoint theorem the converse of this midpoint theorem states that the line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle parallel to another side bisects the third side that means in this figure you see in triangle abc x is the midpoint of ab 
and a line L is drawn through X which is parallel to BC. We have to show that if this line XL intersect SC at Y, then we have to show that Y is midpoint of SC. So, what is to prove Y is midpoint of SC? That is, we can prove that AY is equal to CY. Now, you see, here also we need a construction. If you remember the last construction, let's uh, uh, rewrite it again. Draw a line through C parallel to AB and let it intersect this extended XY or the line L at D. Then, what, how to prove? In quadrilateral BC DX, we have BX is parallel to CD, it is construction and XD is parallel to BC, it is given. So, as in this quadrilateral, the opposite sides are parallel, so this is a parallelogram. As this is a parallelogram, so opposite sides are also equal. From this, we can say that BX is equal to CD. Now, AX is equal to BX, it is given as X is the midpoint. So, from these two equations that BX equal to CD and AX equal to BX, we can conclude that AX is equal to CD. If AX equal to CD, let us try to uh, prove the congruency of triangle AXY and CYD. So, in triangle AXY and triangle YCD, AX is equal to CD, AXY is equal to CDY, these are alternate interior angles as AB A, and CD are parallel and XD is the transversal. Now, AYX and CYD, these two are vertically opposite angles, so they are equal. Now, we have proved that these two triangles AXY is congruent to triangle CDY, by which property? By angle-angle side congruency, this is proved. Now, you see, if these two triangles are congruent, then we can say that AY is equal to CY. That means, it, it is the AC is bisected at Y, that means XY bisects AC. Now, let us see the application of this theorem. This question is, ABCD is a rhombus and P, Q, R and S are the midpoints of sides AB, BC, CD and DA respectively. Show that the quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle. So, here it is given that ABCD is a rhombus, P is midpoint of AB, Q is midpoint of BC, R is midpoint of CD and S is midpoint of AD. So, if we join PQ, QR, RS and PS, then we have to prove that PQRS is a rectangle. So, to prove here, we have to prove that PQRS is a rectangle. So, before proving this to be a rectangle, first let us first let's prove it to be a parallelogram. So, join BD. If we join BD, so one construction here that is draw BD. Now, see 
first part of the proof let's see in triangle a d b s and p are midpoints of sides a d and a b respectively s is midpoint of a d and p is midpoint of a b this implies that s p is parallel to d b or b d similarly we can take another triangle in triangle b c d q and r are the midpoints of midpoints of cd and bc respectively this shows that rq is parallel to bd again if we consider another part of the midpoint theorem which may state that the this line sp is half of the side bd so we can write that sp is equal to half of bd here and also we can say rq is equal to half of bd now from this 1 and 2 we can conclude from 1 and 2 we can conclude that this sp is equal to rq now in triangle now in quadrilateral s p q r we have sp is parallel to rq and sp is equal to rq this shows that pq rs is a parallelogram now second part says that to prove this parallelogram to be a rectangle we have to show that each angle is 90 degree or the diagonals pr and sq are equal let's try with the diagonals for that the second construction here is draw the line segments pr and sq now here you see in quadrilateral aprd ap is equal to rd why because ab equal to cd as ap is midpoint of 
AB. So half of AB is equal to half of CD that is AP equal to DR. Also as this is a rhombus, rhombus is a parallelogram. So opposite sides are parallel. So we can say AP is parallel to RD that shows that AP RD is a parallelogram APRD is a parallelogram which says that AD is equal to PR. Similarly, in Quadrilateral ASQB AS is equal to BQ as AD is equal to BC. Also AS is parallel to BQ as these two are, AD is parallel to BC as they are opposite sides of parallelogram that is rhombus. So this shows that ASQB is a parallelogram and this shows as ASQB is a parallelogram. So SQ is equal to DC. Now we know that ABC, ABBC, CD, DA, all four are equal. So from equation, this three and equation four, you see AD is equal to CD. So PR equal to SQ. So we can write from equation three and four, we get that CD is equal to PR. SQ is SQ is equal to PR. So in collateral in parallelogram PQRS in parallelogram PQRS diagonals SQ is equal to PR. This implies PQRS is a a rectangle. So thus we proved this theorem, this uh, question by applying the midpoint theorem. See we can have some extension of this theorem like this. We know that triangle AXY is congruent to triangle C d y as it is given. So from this we can say that x y x y is equal to y d. Now we know that b x d c is a parallelogram from 
from this we get that BC is equal to XD and what is XD? XD is equal to XY plus YD and we know that XY is equal to YD so we can say that XY in place of YD we can write XY so this shows that BC is equal to 2XY or XY is half of BC. So we can further extend this theorem like this. If the, the, the line segment joining the midpoint of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and its length is half of the third side. We proved here that XY is half of BC. So this line segment joining the midpoints if half of the third side. Let's see another question. The question is ABCD is a rectangle and P, Q, R and S are midpoints of the sides AB, BC, CD and DA respectively. So that the quadrilateral PQRS is a rhombus. So here given that ABCD is a rectangle. P is midpoint of AB, Q is midpoint of BC, R is midpoint of CD and S is midpoint of AD. We have to show that P, Q, R, S is a rhombus. So to show that this is a rhombus, we have to prove that all the sides are equal. So to prove PQRS is a rhombus. Now let's have some construction. What is construction here? We have to draw the diagonals AC and BD. Now draw diagonals AC and BD. Now see in triangle ABC P and Q are midpoints of AB and BC respectively. This shows that PQ is equal to half of AC also and PQ is parallel to AC. In next ADC triangle, in triangle ADC, R and S are midpoints of CD and AD respectively. These two are midpoints. This shows that RS is equal to half of AC and RS is equal to RS is parallel to AC. From this condition 1 and condition 2 we can conclude that from equation from condition 1 and 2 
we can conclude that PQ RS is a parallelogram. Now, again, in triangle ADB, P and S are midpoints of AB and a D respectively. This implies P S is parallel to B D and P S equal to half B D. Again in triangle C D B Q and R are midpoints of BC and CD respectively. This shows that QR is equal to half BD and QR is parallel to BD. PS equal to half BD, QR equal to half BD. Here PQ is equal to half AC and RS is equal to half AC. So as ABCD is a rectangle so, AC is equal to BD. So, from equation 1, 2 and here it is 3 and 4, we get as AC equal to BD. So, half of AC equal to half of BD and as we proved that PQ equal to RS is equal to half AC and half AC equal to half BD and half BD is equal to PS and RQ. So we can say that PQ RS is a rhombus. So here we prove this question by applying the midpoint theorem. Let's have another question. The question is, show that the line segment joining the midpoints of the opposite sides of a quadrilateral bisect each other. So, here any quadrilateral is given, say ABCD, the midpoints of a B, the midpoint of AB is P, BC is Q, and that of CD is R, and that of AD is S. We have to show that SQ and PR bisect each other. So given in quadrilateral A, B, C, D P, Q, R and S are midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D and A, D respectively. We have to show that to prove that P 
पी आर एंड एस क्यू बाइसेक्ट इच अदर सो टू प्रूव दिस लेट्स कंप्लीट दिस क्वालेट्रल पी क्यू क्यू आर आर एस एंड पी एस एंड जयन ए सी सो ड्र पी क्यू क्यू आर आर एस एस पी एंड ए सी You see in triangle ABC we have P and Q are midpoints of AB and AC which shows PQ is parallel to AC and PQ is equal to half of ac similarly in triangle adc q in triangle adc s and r are midpoints of side ad and cd respectively this shows that sr is parallel to ac and sr is equal to half of ac now see here pq is half of ac and sr is also half of ac that means pq is equal to sr again pq is parallel to ac and sr is parallel to ac so pq is parallel to sr so we can name these two conditions as 1 and 2 so from conditions 1 and 2 we conclude that pq rs is a parallelogram and we know that the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other as pr and sq are diagonals of parallelogram pqrs this implies pr and sq bisect each other so here again we prove this statement by using the midpoint theorem dear student we discussed in this whole chapter of quadrilateral about various properties of parallelogram and one of the best application that is midpoint theorem and using this midpoint theorem we also solved various problems and i hope this will helpful helpful to you have a good day thank you